We're gonna work into the rib cage. Um, because again, on your backs, you have two very, I call them the fillet steak muscles. It's the spinae erecti, if you want to look on a, um, uh, a, a, an anatomy chart. The two long muscles here, okay? And they are stronger than your intercostal muscles and your diaphragm. So for singers, if those are not released, that's why we're working sideways, forward, and around, um, to try and get those muscles soft and free. When they're free, you'll find your breath will be freer and you can do everything that your singing teacher asks you to do. And that way your body is supporting your voice, not fighting with it. Okay, so this next little exercise. So before we do it, take a breath as if you were gonna sing something and just feel what your breath feels like now. So just take a singing breath for me before we start. Nice deep singing breath and see what your breath capacity feels like. Okay, are you all there? Do you all know what the feeling is? You've got the sensation? Yes? Okay, so now we're gonna do the exercise and then at the end of it, we'll see if there's been any difference. I'm hoping, <laughs> but we'll see how you feel. Okay, so here we go. Hands on your hips to start with, feet planted where you feel comfortable. And you've got to imagine a string on your rib cage, and the string is pulling you over, and then it brings you back. And then it pulls you over the other side and brings you back. So we go side and back into the center. Side, it's just the ribs, center. Good, side and center. Well done, side. Good, center. Let's go a bit quicker. Side, side. Lovely, so we just a nice smooth movement through. Can you breathe through it? Are you holding your breath? If you are, free the breath. It's just to get those muscles in the back, upper back, to move. Let's go quicker still if you can. If not, find a rhythm where you can feel comfortable. Well done. Good, good. For some of you, you might have done this before. For others, it might be new. Okay. Good. I'm going to steady it down a little bit. Steady there. I'm going to make it a bit more difficult with the arms. Arms to the side. Keep testing your breath. Bring the arms in. We'll make a little circuit. Take the arms, elbows down to your waist. Take the arms up to the ceiling. Okay. So the arms go out to the side. Side. They come into your chest. They go to your waist. They go to the ceiling. Well done. They go sideways, side. They come into your chest. Elbows to your waist. And up to the ceiling. I'm going to take the arms quicker. Side. And in. And elbows waist. And up. Arms side and in, elbows down and up. Once more, side and in, elbows to your waist, up, up. side. Let's go quicker still with the arms. We're going in, elbows, up, out, in, elbows, up, out, in, elbows, up. Well done. In. Elbows. Up. Out. In. Elbows. And just for fun, let's get quicker with both the ribs and the arms. In. Elbows. Up. Out. In. Elbows. Up. Out. In. Elbows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah, I know. That's a real, it's a, a real brain tease. But it's good to get coordination with 
body and um, mind. All right, so we'll just, we'll keep that little exercise going over the next two sessions and I will make it harder. But if you find that it's a real struggle, just stay where you're confident and comfortable and that you can also hold on to that. So when you've got something, you hold on to it and nobody can upset you. All right, so again, it's about really holding on to your own rhythm. Just as when you sing, you've got to hold your line, your vocal line, when you're singing in harmony or in parts. And you can do that brilliantly musically, but it's also to be able to do it physically, not to go to the strongest person in the group or the one with the most energy. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just, I just have a quick question about the last one. Yeah. Um, does it matter if you're moving the hips away from the rib cage movement or should you try and keep them still? Yeah, you try and keep them still, Alex. Yeah, it's just to really try and isolate the ribs. Now, yeah. if you have a breath now, does your rib cage feel any freer, any looser or not? You've got to be absolutely honest. Some people go, yes. Yeah. Some people go, no. Some people go, no change. So how does it feel? Any better? Yeah, great. Anna, yeah. Clover, yeah, George. Brilliant. Yeah, for most of you, it was um, a bit of a change. Great. Okay, fantastic. 